So you had something extraordinary happen to you and I am so glad you were safe and I'm going to get emotional because I was so worried about you, but why could you describe to me what happened and to our audience and I'm glad you're safe and I'm not going to cry. So thank you. Well, thank you so much for having me on and that is very, very sweet of you to say. And honestly, you know, I, I want to preface this by saying what I experienced was just a very, very minor taste of what the people that I have been talking to and interacting with every day have been experiencing for eight years. But on Saturday night, I arrived here in Donetsk and was here at the Donbass Palace Hotel for less than an hour and was met with an artillery strike directly on our position. Uh, the windows of this hotel were shattered once again I artillery strike, I believe a 155 millimeter strike from the Kiev regime forces hit uh, just across the way. And I will actually um, take the viewers to go uh, have a chance to see exactly the after effects of this, uh, of this attack by the Kiev regime. Um, we have a, a, a strike here, you can see the after effects uh it, this window has been shattered the glass has been taken out um this was the most minor effect of the strike that took place just 30 meters over in this direction i was outside when it happened i watched this artillery strike hit mm -hmm. our hotel uh i was about 100 meters away so i watched in front of my eyes a massive ball of flames and smoke uh, rose up at least three stories high directly in front of me. Uh, I was, as I said, about a hundred meters away. Um, I was blown away. I was petrified. I was terrified. Uh, it was like nothing I've seen or felt in my life. I crouched down in the corner and had glass, shattered glass from the buildings around me that was blown out by the pressure of the attack rained down all around me. I immediately posted the video. I, I started recording about five seconds after this blast took place, five to 10 seconds after it took place. I captured my reaction to this. I captured the smoke and the car alarms going off and the natural consequences of an artillery strike on a civilian area, uh, which is of course for the people that have been living here, then that's nothing new. This is what they've been enduring for eight years. But to me, it was very new. It was a extremely new experience, um, horrific, uh, breathtaking, something that I really don't wish upon anyone. Um, but this is, again, what has been happening here for eight years in a civilian area to a hotel that is known to host journalists. This is the third time in two months that this same block has been struck by the Kiev regime. It's a clear attempt to intimidate journalists to stop people from coming here. And while I don't wanna necessarily say that this was an attack on me personally, I do find it bizarre that this strike took place within an hour of my arrival and within an hour of me communicating to somebody perhaps um, erroneously, perhaps, perhaps stupidly, uh, and telling somebody my location on WhatsApp, a, an application that is controlled by Facebook, a corporation that is totally loyal to the United States government, uh, my location was shelled. And um, it was horrific. And I am very grateful to be alive. As I noted in a post that went pretty viral on Twitter, it's now gotten about a quarter million views. I noted that if I had come back about 30 seconds earlier, I would have most likely been killed by the Kiev regime. So that was my immediate experience upon coming to Donetsk and the other journalists, the workers at this hotel, um, we, we, we formed kind of a bond of camaraderie after this and we kind of all hung out at the hotel lobby. Uh, we drank a little bit of whiskey and kind of tried to process this extremely traumatic event. And they told me, welcome to Donetsk. 
uh, this is your baptism and you are now kind of a, a part of this and you understand what we've all been going through for eight years. Eight years, yeah. And, and